Do you want to know why the uh, some people are in the predicament that they are in? Their cell phone has brought them there. They are constantly scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and they can't stop. What people thought would make our life easier has made our life more difficult. The average young man will sit, will, the average person will sit in one spot and scroll, 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 scroll. I've done a study. The strongest bone in a person's body is their thumb. Cause, cause that's that's the, that's what they working out nonstop, both thumbs, their thumbs are the strongest two bones in their body. That's why y'all marriages is in the shape that it's in. That's why your business is in the shape that it's in. That's why your health is in the shape that it's in. A one year, a two year old baby can operate a cell phone. It's sad. That same baby don't know their A, B, C's. Can't count from one to a hundred. Can't even count from one to fifty. Grown adults, you are scrolling through social media, watching everybody else's highlights, and you compare your life to the next person's highlights. The cell phone has ruined this generation. Think about it. Go to a gym. That's where you will really see. Go to a gym and you will look around and everybody's in one spot working that thumb out, working that thumb out, working that thumb out. We have people that is driving down the highway, working that thumb out, working that thumb out. And people say, well, man, I use it to build a business. That's true. You can use your smartphone to build a business. But how in the world did people build all of those businesses in the 90s, in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 60s? Times were happier. I think the last generation that made it through without cell phones uh, was the kids that was born in the 80s. They made it through. They made it. They made it through their teenage years without cell phones. Uh, and it's sad that the world has come to this. You can use your smartphone to build a business, learn another language and do all of that. But, but, but people choose to use the smartphone to constantly feed their minds with garbage and junk and garbage and junk and garbage and junk. And I've seen myself going down that path of constantly scrolling and posting Scrolling and posting, scrolling and posting. I want my brain back. I don't want to fry my brain. Imagine what social media will do to you in the next five years. Everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to be famous. Well, man, you going to walk away? YouTube paying you $300 a month. Let me explain something to you. You cannot put a dollar on a peace of mind. You cannot put a dollar. I do not want to wear golden handcuffs. You, if I remove myself from all of this social media, I guarantee you any kind of money, I can be successful without it. Any kind of money, I can be successful without it. You do not need Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, all of this. Because think about it. You compare your life to the next person. And you know what's so sad? Everybody is living what I call a facade. You see relationships that have these beautiful pictures, but they're miserable. You see, you see people posting these awesome meals that they only cook once a month. You see people going on these lavish vacations that they only go on once a year and the whole time they was there, they was complaining or spending money they didn't have. Take your brain back because y'all have a y'all are frying your brain. That's what you are doing. You're frying your brain. 
Stop for a second. Be free. Be clear. See, I'm going to get me a flip phone. I'm not going to be controlled by social media. Uh, none of this smart technology. Well, man, how are you going to operate your business? I can operate my business with my smartphone. But when my business, look, my business open at eight, I will turn the smartphone on at eight. My business close at five, I will turn the smartphone off at five. I'm going back to a flip phone. I want to be free. But man, how you gonna how, how you gonna find your directions if you're trying to get somewhere? Well, if I'm trying to get somewhere, I'll turn the phone on, find my directions, turn the phone off. I don't want to be in bondage anymore. I don't want to be a slave anymore. I want to be free. I want my brain back. I don't want to be subject to have to constantly post a video to feed myself or my family. No, 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 no. We're not doing that anymore. We're freeing ourselves. And social media don't pay my bills now. The business and my skill pays the bills. And I'm going to keep it right there. My skill and my business. And I'm going to grow this thing to how I want to grow it. I'm not going to be obligated to nobody or nothing. And uh, see, I don't have any brand deals where I have to constantly post. You see, um, the brands can't reach out and say, hey, you better not turn that YouTube channel off. We're paying you. If you're getting paid by the brands, nothing wrong with it. Make your money. Make your money if you are getting paid by the brands. There's nothing wrong to get paid by the brands. I just know I'm trying to go in a different direction now. Different route. I'm expanding my learning. I'm expanding my thinking. I'm meeting new people. I just came back from a lunch with a few business owners. I'm sorry, I said lunch, dinner. I just came back from dinner with a few business owners. Mentors. Reached out to a few guys, wanted to sit down and kind of pick their brain. Hey, what y'all want to eat? Hey, they wanted steaks. Y'all know I don't eat meat. Caesar salad, please. Yes, thank you. Yep, you ain't eating no meat? No, no, no. I'm just here to pick y'all brains. Y'all tell me what y'all know. Some things I kind of want to get into. So, hey, let's sit down. Let's eat lunch. Blah, 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 blah. This, that. You know, that's it. You grow and you learn. You don't stay in one spot. Once you learn something, master it, move on. If you still want to keep that revenue open to make money, keep that revenue open to make money. But at some point, you must grow and move on. And uh, that's what I see myself doing in 2024. I'm growing and moving on. Don't need social media anymore. I don't need it. I'm nobody. I, I didn't have any impact on, on, on many people's lives on social media. Whatever I was talking about or teaching about, there's others that can teach it and teach it better than I do, give you courses or guide you this way, guide you that way. That's awesome. There's plenty of guys. There's plenty of guys that's on the rise. There's plenty of guys that's been doing it for a while. I'm nobody. I'm nobody. I'm just a guy that can weigh up pretty good and run a lawn service. So that's that's where I'm at. Um, I will be uninstalling all of these apps on my phone. I will. I want to get back to reading a book every week. I want to get back to reading a book every week. Uh, I want to challenge myself to think outside the box. And in five years or two years or five months, when I go someplace, I don't have to be subject to a cell phone. Working your thumbs out. Working your thumbs out. Well, man, you walking away from something great. I don't believe that. I really believe I can build something great offline. That's the problem. Everybody want to bring their, their lives online. What are we teaching our children to do? What are we teaching our children to do? If we build our lives online, our children are going to be, our children will grow up online, uh, experience everything online. Next thing you know, we're going to be starting uh, channels for our newborn kids. And we're going to, run that channel until they get about 16. We're going to turn it over to them. 
It's going to come to a point where people are going to go back to the day that they were born, to the day they die, all on social media. This is a this has become a, a sec. Uh, a, this has become a social media generation. People are going crazy. People will do anything to be famous, to be on TV, to be known, to walk in a store. Hey, man, I know you. It's not a flex, people. That's not a flex. I just wanted to get on here, uh, give you some uh, food for thought, make you think, you know. And we're going to go to the next level. Again, you guys don't need me. I'm nobody. And uh, I wish everybody success. I wish everybody blessings. And uh, y'all can do it. You guys, the underdogs. That was my crowd, the underdogs, the guys on the rise. Y'all can do it. Look, it's been fun. It's, it's, it's late. Um, I have to go in here and shower, lay down, finish reading my other book. And then I got to wake up in the morning and be normal. I got to wake up in the morning, run my business, and then go to my full-time job. Uh, I will be leaving this full-time job Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. In four days, four days, I will be leaving this full-time job, going back, work for myself full-time in my business. I have everything planned out on what I want to do and how I want to do it. Maybe one day I'll check back in and give you all a little update. But listen, honestly, the way technology and social media goes, you guys will forget me in about 90 days. I will be just a blip on the radar. See you guys on this side of the other.